Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So today we have a 2012 GMC Acadia with an issue with the AC. And what's going on is, is that when you when when the customer uh, decides that they want you know, full 60 degree AC on this side, on the passenger side, it's blowing um, hot and she's commanding it cold. And, you know, only only the driver's side is is staying cold, the temperature that they're desiring to have. So the problem here is actually a blend door or not the blend door, the um, the actuator that controls the blend door and it's called a blend door actuator or heater blend door actuator and it's located down there so in this video I'll be walking you through the steps on how to replace that actuator which I just purchased and is this one right here and here's where your connector goes and you're gonna have three screws one up top one here one down here okay so let me get down to the other side and I'll continue there okay now I'm underneath the passenger side okay and this is where you keep your feet of course uh, just so you can kind of tell where I'm at and there's a little vent right here okay right under the glove box which this is the glove box I'm gonna go down right down here just black panel and it's held on by these little plastic tabs okay you're gonna use one of these pry tools and you're gonna pry that center piece out and it comes out like that okay and then there's another one on that side over here it's your your access for your other fuses you're gonna pop that one loose like that and everything should just come straight down. In some cases you have uh, a light down here. If you had it, it would be right here and you would just twist like that in that direction uh, counterclockwise. So you would hold on to it and you would rotate like that. Coming under here, we have our actuator. Let me, let me just unplug this purple wire which is for the blower motor so it's not in the way and that one has a, a little a little clip see that was just that pushing that one down which now that we're talking about the clips that actuator right there also has one and I'm sorry for the angles but it's about the only way I can get the camera up in here okay uh, you see where that red well first of all you're gonna have these two actuators you're gonna have that one up top and then you're also gonna have the one at the bottom the the one that's bad in this case is the bottom one not the top one uh, the top one is the one that changes from from floor to to the front vents to the top vents on the dash and everything you know that's the one that changes where the air comes out from okay this bottom one is the one for the temperature on the passenger side um, so you're gonna have three screws you're gonna have one down here one up there where my finger is up there there's like a little U shape okay right up here and then you're also gonna have another one let me see if I can get a better angle from a different spot here okay there it is if you're looking at it right there in front of my finger that's where it's at you can barely see it though okay well anyway this little clip this harness right here that consists of five wires yeah five wires um, go ahead and take this one off 
on the opposite side of the red plastic, you're going to have a clip like the one that I had just shown you. And that's all you got to do. Okay. And now just tackle those three, those three screws and remove that actuator. And this one right here is going to be kind of tough to get to. So what you're going to need is your Torx 20 bit and one of these ratchets where the bit goes onto directly like that and it's a small profile okay you can use one of these or if you don't have a small ratchet like this one another thing you can do is you can get a quarter inch wrench it's a tiny little it's a small little wrench and you can actually turn this bit with that quarter inch wrench okay so here we are again underneath now for the top one you can gain access to it a little easier through the glove box actually so this one right here if you look inside it slides so you're gonna you're gonna grab onto it and you're gonna slide it up like that and then remove it out of the hole and then this one right here you're gonna twist it like counterclockwise and then the same thing for this one over here excuse them freaking roosters and all that in the background and then you just let this you just let it sag down like that. And if you look, that one at the bottom, right down here, not that one. Don't get that one confused. It's all it's the lower one. You can now see that other screw, which is right here, right in front of my finger. Okay, and to get to that one, which is the top screw. Just get yourself a ratchet, an extension, and another extension, or whatever. Just a really long extension, as long as you have your um, your Torx 20 at the front. So lucky for me, I got power tools, so that's what I'm using. Okay, and that last one that I was talking about that's in a very uncomfortable position is right there let me get my little tool in there I'm gonna use this one and that's your last screw that's the one that's the toughest to get to pretty much but as you can see but that's all I got to do right there. Once you have removed all three screws, get your hand in there, grab onto it, and pull it straight out. Well, first thing you need to do is compare the two and make sure that you did get the correct part. All right, set them up exactly the same, and compare your your mounting points and how it sits. Okay, uh, and as you can see, this one over here is stuck in that position in the heater position. Okay, and this one it's it's set at a different state which is a neutral state um, another thing to keep in mind is also your plug where your plug connects you need to make sure that there is the exact same amount of prongs inside and that your plug is going to work and and also attach in the same position go ahead and reconnect your blower And what 
you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate this guy back and forth, okay? You're going to do this and that. You're going to and and you're going to start your vehicle and set your your blower to blow cold and everything, you know, and and uh set the speed of the blower to, you know, at a at a decent speed to where you can feel the temperature. And as you rotate this blend door manually as I'm doing right now the temperature should change and that's how you're gonna verify you know everything here that everything's working properly okay um, as far as you know you also wanna you also wanna do this just to make sure that there's nothing no obstruction within the blend door because if you come down here and you can't even rotate this by hand either way that means that there is a restriction maybe you know if you have kids or something maybe maybe some kids threw a bunch of quarters down the vent you know which has happened seen that before uh, kids throwing a bunch of coins or, or things down the vents well guess what it's gotta go somewhere so it falls into this AC heater box and it and it can block this door there's like a flap there's a door in here and that can get stuck with stuff that gets poured down the vents you know so go ahead and start your car and set it to your cold setting on both sides Okay, so I'm at 60. Uh, you might have to let it warm up a little bit because of the fact that your heater is not going to work because the, the vehicle is not hot at the moment, right? So let the vehicle get a little bit hot and uh, or a little warm and then go down there and do the test that I, that I just told you, you know, flip flip the blend door back and forth and see if see if when you turn it one way if the temperature changes to to cold and then if you switch it the other way and it changes to back to hot you know on the passenger side because that's the side that you're worried about that you're fixing so go ahead and do that and once you verify that everything is is functional go ahead and put your new actuator on so now that you verify that that's the problem, this goes on, the actuator goes on in this direction. Okay, with the with the connector over here towards the back of the vehicle. And um, there's one little problem, of course, that you're going to face. The blend door is going to be stuck in the heater position. Okay, so that means that this one on the blend door instead of it being straight up and down like it is here the blend door is gonna be cocked over like that so what you're gonna have to do is as you're installing this one with your finger you're gonna have to rotate that blend door so that it can fall into place here's what I was talking about you're gonna have to try and rotate blend door until you're able to slide it in like that and now your holes are aligned now these screws do not go very tight they're just like barely, barely snug, okay? So don't, I mean, you want to tighten them up with your fingers, just with like three fingers, okay? Uh, like if you're holding, if you're holding this little ratchet and, and you're, you know, going at it, you want to make sure that you just, like I said, three fingers, just snug it up barely, okay? Because you are tightening up against plastic and you can break the plastic. If you happen to drop a screw 
which can happen you can gain access through this panel uh, if you end up dropping a screw more than likely it's gonna fall somewhere in this area so all you would have to do is grab the bottom and give it a little tug and pull it out like that and it just slides from underneath okay and you would gain access to all that area yeah but it's no big deal they they fall generally in this area and you know it's no it's no biggie to get back to them all right now make sure you put in everything that you had removed this one on this side it's gonna go facing down and then like if you're cranking your car clockwise clockwise and the one for this side goes on facing up like that same thing you're gonna turn it you're gonna turn it clockwise and this one make sure it's all setting in now reconnect your blower and then get your actuator connector hook that one up with the red facing towards the front of the vehicle and put your your panel back up and just align the holes Okay, once you've buttoned up your repair, um, you still need to take a few more steps. And that is the recalibration of the actuator. Okay, and it's and it's easy. There's it's not a it's not a big deal. If you have a scan tool, if you have a, a code reader or something like that, you hook it up on your OBD2 port, and the reason for that is because when these actuators go bad they actually they actually trip a code so there's going to be a code stored in your computer you need to clear that code first um before doing this if you don't have a scanner that's okay you can go down here to the bottom you can go down here to the bottom and you're going to remove your HVAC fuse. See if I can get a better view of that. Alright. So that one right there, the 15 amp, you're going to remove that fuse. And leave it removed for about a minute. And then put it back in. Okay, once you do that... And, or once you have cleared your codes with the code reader, um, you're going to start your vehicle, but do not touch your climate controls yet. You need to give the system a minimum of 40 seconds um, to recalibrate itself. After that 40 seconds is over, after the minute is over, now you can start you know, messing with the controls as much as you want and everything should be functioning back to the way it was before. I hope this video was useful and it helped fix your problem. If it did, please like and subscribe to our channel. We're trying to make our channel grow and at the current moment we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So do us a favor and please subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out. Um, once again, thank you for watching and um, have a beautiful day. Thank you.